Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you've linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And for today, beans we did a mining mod recently, I thought we could do a vanilla mining vehicle. And this one is called the ORE Bessemer Heavy Miner, which is this lovely thing right here. So this mining vehicle is good for both creative and survival mode. However, if you were to use this in survival mode, you're going to have to spawn in the arms separately because projectors cannot spawn subgrids. So that is a little bit of a problem. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu over here, we can see that we've got our vehicle. And if we're in survival mode, we will need to download that one as well and plop them on after. So the heavy miner is 1,189 small blocks using both the decorative block DLC packs. We use no mods, but a couple of scripts. Now this vehicle is a very nice because we can create such holes like this, where you can create an underground facility and have a little underground tunnel leading all the way down to it. And this is one that I've been playing with earlier. It is a little bit fiddly to get right because you've got to make sure the arm is at the correct angle, otherwise you're going to have very wonky surfaces and you won't be able to drive through it. The other thing is, if you are collecting up the stone to put in the containers, you're going to make quite a small little hole which will take you a long time to drill, but if you're discarding everything, you can create a nice long tunnel like that. We'll come back to that a bit later when I start drilling with this thing. So we're going to start by taking a look around the outside, then we're going to go off and make a big hole somewhere. Whether we're actually drilling it or this explodes, I don't know. So at the very front here, we've got two drilling arms, which feature three drills on both sides. We've also got four spotlights to make sure we can light up the way we're going. And on our right arm, we've got a camera to view straight forwards and make sure we put this arm at the correct angle to make sure we're going to make a nice good tunnel. As we move around the side here, we've got a nice bunch of wheels to keep us nice and stable. And we've got a side sitting cockpit, which is the first time I've seen one set up like this. I'm always worried about doing stuff like that because one little rock and that cockpit's gone. But this seems to be okay. It can't get its speed high enough to put that cockpit at risk. Yes, it's the industrial cockpit that just sits on the side there. Got a little bit of protection. We got a spotlight that sits on top of it and it is being funneled oxygen in case you want to use this on Mars or the alien planet. And as we move along the side here, we've got a bunch of large small block containers, each with a ladder on it to make sure you can go and get up to the top to either access the containers or to put some more on top of it. Moving around the side to the back, we then got some more ladders on containers and a connector to offload everything. If I was to drop down here, we've got some blast door edges as well as our hydrogen engines and there's a bunch of oxygen vents to suck in the air to make sure you don't suffocate. And moving around on this side, we lose our cockpit but in its place, we've got some programmable blocks. So going from left to right, this one over here has got the skid steering suspension. We then have our mouse aimed rotor, which is how we're going to control the drills. We then have our Izzy inventory manager, which you can turn off if you don't like it. And on our final one, we have an empty programmable block for you to do whatever with. So there is that. As we move all the way around to the front, we can see our arm once again. How is our arm being attached? It's by a advanced rotor. So these come all the way up with conveyors into the advanced rotor, which goes into another conveyor that links across to all these cargo containers. In front of that, we've got a hydrogen tank, so we are hydrogen powered, if you didn't hear the hum of the hydrogen engine before. And we do have some lovely block work just to finish it off like so. So we can just take a sneaky look inside there at a very well hidden antenna. As we come down and take a look at our wheels, this is what we've got set up. Nice little block set to keep them nice and protected. Then moving all the way along over to here. We've got some gyroscopes because we will need that for our arm and to keep control of this. And moving along to the back, there are some pistons because we can lift this off the ground in case we need to do some maintenance work in the event this gets damaged and it will get damaged when you first start playing with it. So that's the outside. If I get into my character and run all the way around to the side, into the cockpit we do have a few buttons so starting on tab number two this is just your gyroscopes you don't touch this just simply ignore it on tab number one this is where the fun is number one is to select the drills and then we can use our mouse to move this up and down left mouse to drill and collect the resources 
right mouse to drill and to discard everything. Like so, and you probably noticed there that I was starting to drill the ground below me at this angle. So if I was to just very carefully drop down, we can start drilling with our right mouse. If I was to left mouse it, we have to get quite close to the ground before it starts to drill it away. On number two, we've got our hydrogen engine on and off, which is always nice. Number three is to view on our arm, so we can make sure we're going nice and level through a hole. Number five is for our inventory manager script on and off. Number six is to deploy our pistons to lift us off the ground and do some maintenance work underneath. Number seven is our spotlight on our drill arm like so. Number eight is for our rotating lights over there to make sure people can see you reversing and see you coming in the darkness. And number eight is our battery to put into recharging or auto. And that is that. So pressing P to disconnect that, let's go for a little drive. This is what we get. So thanks to that tank skid script, we can turn on the spot basically, which is very, very nice. You might find if you go over some really rough terrain that that script is going to interfere with you a lot and might make it difficult to get across stuff. So you can always just disable it if you wanted to do so. But for the moment, this is what we get. We're very slow moving around and it suits a heavy mining vehicle very well. So now what we're going to do is start drilling a nice hole. So where do we want to do this? I think I'll do it right here. And I'm just going to aim myself down a little bit like so. Because we don't want to do too much damage. I just want to start removing that. Then we're going to move forwards into that hole. And we should start to very carefully remove that and create a nice tunnel. Got to be quite patient and you've got to be careful not to move your mouse too much. I'm starting to remove it now. I'm just going to lower this down to get more of a steeper road going. That should do nicely. And now that we're going to go down, I'm just going to move the drill head up to a more flush angle. And there we go. Just going to look through the camera to make sure everything's okay. Can't really see much because we are drilling. And we're just going to keep going down and down and down. Now, because we're not collecting any resources, we don't have to worry about any additional weight on this vehicle. So we can move this around quite nicely. But once you've got the tunnel going, you just keep your hand at the angle, keep going, and the weight of the vehicle will just keep pushing you down. And you will create a nice little tunnel to wherever you want to go. I'm just going to keep going. My mouse is wobbling around a little bit because it is cold in this room. So it's going to be quite bumpy. It's not as good as the other tunnel that I did, unfortunately, but it's good enough. Good enough. So let's just go and put our light on. We can create some flashing lights, but I'll turn it off in case you're sensitive to that type of thing. Just come out of there and keep going. That is the one bonus of having these side sitting cockpit, which I do like, is when you start going deep, you lose your third person camera. So being able to sit like this is very nice. So we're just going to keep on going. Let's just try and tilt this up a little bit. Let's try and get back up to the surface. I'm not sure if this will work well. I think we might need to remove part of the ceiling. So if I aim up a bit and keep going, that should be okay. This is a lovely little vehicle. Very nicely set up, very easy to use. You do have to make sure scripts are enabled in your world if you are going to use it. And yes, that is basically it. If I just hop out of here, we can see what we did. So we made a little bit of a tunnel. It's a bit wonky. Yes, it is very, very wonky. In fact, how did I do that? Seems like there's a weird gravitational pull in that direction. Yes, if you get it correct, if you're on a flat terrain, you can make a very nice tunnel and have an underground secret base without having to resort to any mods or the voxel tools. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. So it's a fun little vehicle to play with. And there is the other tunnel. I like this one more. This one went very, very well. Let me just go all the way down. Yes, like I said, it's in the description below if you wish to download and play around with yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.